Ephesians is actually really considered one of Paul's quintessential. It, it, one scholar said the quintessence of Paul, or the quintessence of the epistles, the crown of Paulism, the queen of the epistles. So this is a big deal. He's in prison. So he's either in Caesarea waiting before his trial before Felix and then about to go to Rome, or he's in Rome. But he's clearly under house arrest as he writes this. And he's writing to probably the general area of Ephesus, a broader area, because you don't have the same kind of, uh, he doesn't sort of salute individual people the way that he often does in his other epistles. Mm -hmm. So this is probably like this, almost this general treatise or epistle that's given to this broad area. It's really powerful. And because of that, you see these subjects that matter very much to Latter-day Saints. Okay. What does the church look like? What, what is this supposed to be like? He's training, really, the, a broad region of the church in, in what this is supposed to look like. Elaine, what are some of the subjects that Paul uh, writes about? What are some of those that would be specifically interesting to Latter-day Saints? It almost felt to me like he was speaking to us in the latter days, like this was a message for, for us right now as to, as to how to navigate this world, how to uh, approach our challenges, who we are, the structure of, of, of things that will help us, guide us, keep us on the path. So for me, it was just almost like he was speaking right now to me. You have lots of Gentile Christians coming into the church and being baptized, and they, they feel uncomfortable. What's their identity? What's their place? Mm -hmm. And Paul is trying to encourage them, you have a divine identity. You matter. You are not less than these Jewish Christians that are probably pretty intimidating for them. You're, you're equal with them. God has a purpose for you. So come out of the world, and he's going to train them how to come out of the world. And, but he's really trying to build them up and say, God knows you, and you have a purpose, and here's who you are. Yeah.